Good day. This is Miss Mumsy. Hello, hello, hello. We are going to be studying the primary colors today. What you see here are the first three colors that you're going to be learning, and they are the primary colors. We have red, yellow, and blue. Red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors. And this is a color wheel of just those three. Here is another color wheel, and this color wheel has more th than three colors. They have the primary color, secondary, and tertiary. That's a lot of colors. A color wheel helps us compare colors to see how they work together. And so that's what we have a color wheel for. But today we're only going to be learning the first three. Red, yellow, and blue. What is color? That's the question we're going to ask right now. What is color? Color is the reflection of light off of an object. That's what color is. So when you're studying color, that's what you're learning. You're learning about how light is reflecting off of an object. We're going to be studying a man today, and this is a picture of him. His name is Jackson Pollock, and we're looking at him because he used color in a lot of different things in a lot of his, his paintings. Some of them were more colorful than other, others. This is one of the col pictures that he did. You see him? It's full of color. What were the three primary colors? Red, yellow, and blue. And Jackson Pollock, he did this one. And do you see a red in there? Yes, I do. I see red. Do you see yellow? There you go, yellow. How about blue? Hmm, blue, is that black or blue? What do you think? Yep, you look at that for a minute and see once if you can find red, yellow, and blue, the three primary colors. Jackson Pollock did that picture, and he did others, and we're gonna be studying more about him later. Listen to the video on his story, and you'll be able to see a little bit more about what he did. Which way does this one go? This is a neat picture. I believe it goes this way. This picture is called the snowstorm. Do you see in there? What do you see? Maybe a boat in a storm? Mm-hmm, that's what I see. You know who did this picture? You'll be surprised. Yup, Jason, it's not you. But it was John Turner. Ask him about this. Some John Turner did this particular painting. And there is red, yellow, and blue in it. Let's see if we can find the red. Here's some red, yellow, and some blue. You wouldn't notice it right first, but it's there. Red, yellow, and blue. Now we're going to be working with red, yellow, and blue with this kind of a project. Whoa, that's a big project. Piet Mondarian, I can't pronounce it very well, he did stuff like this. He was a Dutch painter, and this is how he, what he did. He did straight lines, vertical and horizontal, and he had the three primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue, and he put them in pictures like this. So this is what you can do, Natalie. Go ask Mommy to get you a piece of white paper ask her to get to some electrical tape and to make some lines on it just like this. Then you go ahead and you get a red marker, yellow crayon, and blue coloring pencil. And you choose one spot to color red like Miss Mumsy did. All right, color it, color it, color it, color it. Cover it all up, make sure there's no white. Then you take a yellow crayon and you color one spot, make sure there's no white. Then you take the blue pencil and you color, 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 and make sure there's no white. Go on the side of your pencil. It'll work better. Cover more that way. Okay? That's what you need to do. That's your project. And you're going to have something when you're finished, leaving a lot of white spaces, that's going to look just like Piet Mondarian. All right. Now, let's see once what you can do. 
Look at this one. You're not going to do this, Andrew. This is just one that I did last year. You like that? Does it have the primary colors? Yes, it does. Red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, blue. Sure enough, does. You're going to do this one. And I'm sending you a dog. What you're going to have to do is take a ruler and you're going to draw lines down. All right, the same direction as the sides of the paper. And then draw lines across the dog. Same as the sides of the paper. So that's confusing. What do you really mean? Let me show you. Here you go. See what I did? I did some lines down. I didn't go all the way straight. I did some in his face, some on his body, going down, which is called vertical. And then I did some going across, which is called horizontal. But I had them scattered. I didn't go straight across all of them. Okay? So that now we have so rectangles throughout the dog. Not across, out of his body, just in his body. Then I chose the number three, and I took my red marker, my yellow marker, and my blue marker, and I colored in three blue spots with my blue one, three yellow spots with my yellow one, and three red spots with my red. Because of the size of my shapes, I thought that was just about enough because this way it will end up looking a whole lot like Piet Mondarian's. We want to make sure there is enough white. We're using those three colors because they are the primary colors. Very good. The red, the yellow, and blue are all primary colors. So that's what we're going to do. And let's see once what you come up with and you show it to me. I'd love to see it. All right. Have fun. Bye.